The death toll from a powerful bombing at a Quetta rail station in southwestern Pakistan on Saturday rose to 17, officials said. The attack also left 30 others wounded, some critically. A bomb exploded when passengers were waiting for a train to travel to the garrison city of Rawalpindi from Quetta, the capital of the restive Balochistan province, said Mohammed Baloch, a senior police officer. TV footage showed the platform littered with passengers' luggage. A separatist group, the Balochistan Liberation Army claimed the attack in a statement, saying a suicide bomber targeted troops present at the railway station. Police said they are investigating the claim. The oil and mineral-rich Balochistan is Pakistan's largest but also least populated province. It is also a hub for the country's ethnic Baloch minority whose members say they face discrimination and exploitation by the central government. Along with separatist groups, Islamic militants also operate in the province. BLA often targets security forces and foreigners, especially Chinese nationals who are in Pakistan as part of Beijing's multi-billion dollar Belt and Road Initiative, which is building major infrastructure projects. सुबह जब यहाँ पे लोग जमा थे और उसमें हर तरह के लोग थे सरकारी और आम आम के जो बाकी भी जो मुसाफिर थे यहाँ पे तकरीबन कुछ 150 200 की तादाद थी जो यहाँ पे जमा थे और यहाँ पे दमाका हुआ इनिशियली हमने जो चीज का इन्वेस्टिगेट किया है क्राइम सीन ये सारा कुछ हमें इनिशियली लग रहा था कि शायद कोई खुद कुछ होगा लेकिन क्योंकि आम का इतना जमघटा और रश था इस जगह पे मौके पे तो मजीद हम इसका तायन कर रहे हैं कि इन एक्चुअली इसकी नोयत थी क्या इनिशियली अभी तक जो फिगर्स हमारे पास आए सर जो पायल अप हुए हैं हुए हैं जो कन्फर्म हुए हैं जिसमें सोलह जो हैं शहादतें कन्फर्म हुई हैं लेकिन ये बाकी क्रिटिकल हालत में हैं और ये फिगर जो है हमारी अब हो सकती है और तीस की जख्मी की जो हमारे पास फिगर Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said on Friday during a radio interview in Budapest that if U.S. President-elect Donald Trump had won the U.S. election in 2020 there wouldn't have been a war in Ukraine. People say a lot of things about Trump, including people who don't like him, but there's one thing that no one questions, which is that he does not launch wars, Orban added. He added that, strong leadership from the U.S. would have ended the war in Ukraine. During his campaign, Trump said he could end the war in Ukraine, now well into its third year, in a single day. Ukraine and many of its European backers fear that this means a peace on terms favorable to Russian President Vladimir Putin and involving the surrender of territory. European allies in NATO hope to convince Trump that if he helps to negotiate any peace, it should be done from a position of strength, for both Ukraine and the US. Orban, widely seen as having the warmest relations with Putin among all EU leaders, has routinely blocked, delayed or watered down EU efforts to extend assistance to Kyiv and to sanction Moscow over its war. 
He has consistently pushed for a ceasefire but without detailing what it would mean for Ukraine's statehood or territorial integrity, or the potential security implications for Europe and the United States. Azután történnek, hogy Donald Trumpot ismét megválasztották az Amerikai. A háború két évéről beszélek, és azt is mindenki tudja, hogy ha 2020-ban Donald Trump nyert volna az Egyesült Államokba, akkor ez a két év, ez a, ez a Lidérc nyomásos két év meg sem történt volna, nem lett volna háború, mert lett volna olyan erős vezetője Amerikának, aki kellő időben megkötötte volna a szükséges megállapodásokat. Ez elmaradt. A kormányfői folytatják a megbeszéléseket. A tárgyalásoknak külön. A fronton a helyzet nyilvánvaló, tehát katonai vereség van. Az amerikai ki fognak szállni ebből a háborúból. Ezt is nem fogják bátorítani a háborút, nem fogják azt mondani, hogy a háború jó dolog. Donald Trumpról sok mindent szoktak mondani, azok is, akik nem kedvelik. De egy dolgot senki sem kérdőjelez meg. Ez pedig az, hogy ő nem indít háborút. Orbán Viktor miniszterelnököt.